Right then, so we're here this morning to have a go at making a bug house, but it's not just any old bug house, it's a bug house for a certain species, so we're going to make it for solitary bees. So what we need to do that is we need some canes, and these have just been cut in short lengths, so please do get an adult to help, don't try cutting them on your own because you could injure yourself. We've got a pot bottle, two litre pot bottle here, and what I've done is I've just cut the top and the bottom off it, so what you'll end up with is a cylinder of plastic like that. And then what I've put through it is a length of wool, so this can act as a hanger, so you can hang up your bug box wherever you so wish to hang it. So what we're going to do, it could be simpler really, we're going to pop it down on the table, and then we're just going to pop the canes inside. We need quite a few. And you want to pack them in there as tight as you can. stand upon its own, you don't have to hold it as well. So what I'm doing is just slotting in the canes here into the gaps I can see, just to make it nice and tight within this plastic, I want to call it a sheath really, because it's, 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 it's holding it all together and it's keeping it waterproof. All I'm going to do is just pop another one in there, I think that's just going to tighten it up nicely. Yeah, that's great, because they're not going to come out now, they're in there nice and tight. So then what we're going to do, after we've done that, get our wool. Pull it through a little bit. It's got squidged down with putting the canes in. Tighten a knot. And there you have it, a nice little bug house for solitary bees.